Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm very excited to be bringing you my 2024 current wish list. Now a lot of these pieces are more on the luxury and premium end and that's to be honest because that's kind of how I function with wish lists. Typically from pieces from the high street I don't put them on such a rigid wish list. I have filmed a similar video but it was specifically just for handbags. That was a few months ago and to be honest there is a little tiny bit of overlap. However this video doesn't just cover bags. It will also go into fashion pieces, lifestyle pieces, homeware pieces. If you want to see how I would style these pieces when I get them, I will leave my Instagram and my TikTok on the screen now in the description box of the video. That's where you'll be able to see a lot of the styling. However, obviously you will also see it here on YouTube. And then obviously, like I mentioned in my previous video, there is now my blog, but I don't want to talk on for too long because I'm actually really excited to share with you the pieces I'm loving. And so I'll just jump on straight into the video. Okay, so starting off with bags, the first one I have is the Ro Margot 15 in dark chocolate brown. Now I know this is quite probably a boring one to start on because everybody has this bag now. I just really love this bag. Honestly you guys know I love dark chocolate brown. It's one of my favourite colours so of course that's the colour I would preferably want it in. I have gone in store and tried on the bag. I don't believe it was a 15. It might have been a 17 which felt really big and the thing you have to bear in mind with this bag is that if you go for any other size other than the 17 the likelihood that you can actually wear it on your shoulders is non-existent unless you get the 17 which for most people is too big however i still love this bag now in my previous haul that i filmed last week i did say that because of the new dark chocolate brown bag that i got it kind of resolved the desire for me to want to get the Margot. Now that's true in some sense, in the sense of I don't want to get it anymore right now immediately. However, is it still a bag I want? Absolutely. I think it's a very versatile bag and also I feel like I'm missing in my collection a big bag. I don't have any that are actually just a big bag where you can just throw everything inside and then just carry it while still looking good and I also think this looks so good as a bag to travel with. So that's the first bag on my wish list which wasn't on my previous wish list for bags video that I had made and then I still have on here my Kelly Pochette, one of my favourite bags till this day. I do have it on my wish list at the moment with black and gold hardware. I really love the bag. I think I've mentioned before that that bag is one that you can actually style up but also style down so it's very versatile. It's got more space than the mini Kelly 2 which is the one that you're used to seeing. However it is hard Harder to get. For some people it takes them years to get it and it's actually less, way less than the Mini Kelly, around the 4000 I say price range. With the Kelly Pochette in mind there is actually a bag on here which I don't think I mentioned in that previous video and it's the Savette Pochette. That bag obviously a lot of people are loving as well right now but it's honestly such a gorgeous bag. However it doesn't quite compare to the Kelly Pochette. I will put a video up of when I went in store and tried it on but it has a lot more of a rounded rectangular side whereas the Kelly Pochette is a trapeze. In my opinion I think the Kelly Pochette looks better because it doesn't look as bulky however the one specifically that I'm looking at from Savette is the one with dark chocolate brown suede. Now I'm genuinely not a suede bag person. I know suede is very much in people are loving it. I'm not a huge fan of suede especially living in London. Rain, all of those things, it just ruins your suede pieces and I've seen so many people's bags that are suede and the corners had darkened so I don't really want that to happen. Obviously that just means you have to wear them less often. One of the ones I had seen from Savet was this dark chocolate brown one in suede. I spotted it the other day actually online and I didn't even know they made it and now it's favorited and wishlist on my Nata Porter for when it comes back. It is such a gorgeous bag. I do think obviously it's going to be one that I get way less wear because of it being suede. Savet also has the black one with gold hardware which is leather, smooth leather. That one's also very nice and a lot more versatile. You can wear it daily. So I think I will be either picking up as my next bag that bag or the next one which is the totem tea lock i really like the totem tea lock i think i've mentioned it in previous videos anyways and the one specifically that i'm looking at is in a smooth leather with gold hardware they do also come in grained textured leather which really is starting to grow on me initially i said i would never get those but now I look back because that was the first one I tried on in store and I think those ones are going to be a lot more versatile. One of those two will be my next bags. You may see it in my next haul. And then the last bag on my wish list at the moment is the Kelly Elan or the Hermes Kelly Elan. This is a new bag or it may have been reintroduced. I actually at first didn't think I was going to like it but then I saw it more often and I think it grew on me. Specifically the one in Burgundy. However, I spoke to my essay at Hermes about 
burgundy one and she did say that in light so if you're in a well-lit room it will look very cherry red and then maybe in the evening when the lights are a bit dimmer then it will look a little bit more like a dark brown but i don't want a bag that at any point looks like cherry red i know i'm not going to wear it but they also do have it in black they do have it in gold but to be honest i'm kind of steering away from gold from hermes gold meaning the tan color just because i do have my iran sandals in both noir and gold and i get a little bit less wear out of my gold pair now for fashion pieces i have also kind of a similar number of pieces the first one is dark chocolate brown pair of sling back heels from the row I'll put up a picture of all of these things on the screen and also the names because I can't quite remember the names of all of these but I feel like one of the pieces that I'm missing in my closet is actually a shorter heel I don't really have I think actually recently I got a Jenny Kane kitten heel but that one is in a velvety suede so obviously not the most versatile but this one from the row I really do like it does also come in black but I feel like I'm not missing a black pair of heels in my collection I'm okay with wearing high heels in that instance however i am missing a dark brown pair of heels especially because now i have more dark brown belts and bags i do feel like i want to match it again these are on my wish list i've only recently found them so i want to do a little bit more research on them see how comfortable they actually are because i don't have currently any shoes i don't believe from the row so i don't actually know comfort level and what they're like and wear and tear so i want to have a look at those first maybe try them on in store if they have them and go from there then the next thing on my wish list is an alaya virgin wool blazer this is 100 percent well specifically the one i'm looking at they do have it on netta porter and to be honest i have a feeling that initially i had another one from alaya on my wish list but i couldn't find it when i came to look for it so i have this one instead but it is gorgeous i love how their blazers cinch in at the waist but not too much this one kind of reminds me a little bit not completely but a little bit of the dior bar jacket i do think that this one is a very nice piece and also again versatile i love my blazers and i do have other black blazers that i absolutely love many that have already ticked off my wish list pieces but this is a new one that i've seen and if you wear it in the evening it adds a little bit of something with the cinched in waist if you wear it in the daytime you can wear it with jeans and some ballet flats that nicely brings me on to another item which isn't concretely in my wish list because I'm still doing my research on it and to be honest with a lot of these pieces I still am but they are loosely in my wish list because I've only really started to like ballet flats recently these are the Chanel ballet flats now the ones I'm specifically looking at don't have any quilts or anything it's just a simple black pair of ballet flats they also do have it however I've seen them more in the pre-loved market the dark chocolate brown pair like I mentioned, I feel like I'm missing dark brown shoes to match my dark brown bags and belts. So this is another piece that I have on here. I actually really want to get into ballet flats for the spring season. Also probably got some at Arquette and Cos. So I'm going to have a browse around and see because sometimes what I like to do is get a piece from the high street first, sometimes. For example, in my recent video, I wanted to get this vest top. I saw it at the row as well but I decided since I'd never styled a top like that before in order for me to know whether or not the cost per wear would be there I decided to get one from Arquette test it out and if I really love it I'll upgrade it to the row one I still don't think it's a piece I will upgrade that top specifically so that was a great way for me to kind of experiment without having to go completely high end with things because for me it's not about who made what and it's not about the brand it's about what I like and if I don't like it, it doesn't matter who made it. I obviously have so many pieces on my wish list from Camilla and Mark, so I just narrowed it down to one. They are the ones I would compare more closely to the row. The ones that I have on here, I think are called the Bronin trousers, and I'll put them up on the screen. I think these are going to be absolutely incredible during springtime and also summertime as a monochrome outfit with a black top with a grey top anything really I almost always go for cream trousers during that time of year Camilla and Mark is known for their tailoring that's where their specialty lies so I think I'm very excited to get these trousers if I'm not wrong the majority of their trousers lie within the £400 price range another piece that I have on here is called the Terry open back dress from Kate if I'm not wrong this one is a jersey material so so a little bit more relaxed I think with Kate you already know the quality is going to be there every time I feel a piece from Kate it's amazing they never really have a miss so much so with quality and then the design I think is very unique I haven't seen a design like this anywhere else and then the next thing I have is actually a runway collection from Saint Laurent it's a maxi dress this kind of reminds me of one that I saw from Mikael Lesordo however this one is from Saint Laurent and I really do like this one it comes in ivory cream color and also black 
and it's a v-neck deep cut for me i do actually have quite the collection of my gowns and party wear which I don't show I actually don't show a lot of my collection really I prefer to show it in videos where I bring it out and show you as opposed to showing you my entire collection I prefer to keep that a little bit more private for the time being so many of you don't know about my obsession with party wear and gowns but I, I love them so much it's one of my favorite things to dress up for members club events galas you name it carpets whatever it may be having a really incredible gown however I usually go quite simple as you can tell with this one it's still quite a simple piece and then i also have another pair of heels in here they're actually really really similar to the row ones so i think it just shows that i am missing a kitten pair of heels in my collection these ones are the saint laurent vendome gloss croc effect heels this one is black honestly all of my heels the minimum height i have excluding the jenny kane ones i just got is 100 millimeters from jimmy choo actually and then it just goes up from there so i am really missing a pair that are lower to the ground because honestly I've missed that feeling and sometimes I don't want to be walking around in really tall heels. In the next category I have some lifestyle and homeware things. Now starting off with the lifestyle I have two luggage bags. The first one is from Ramoa or Rimova. This one is the aluminium case. The one I'm looking at is the one that has more of a heritage feel to it compared to the newer feeling one which is a little bit more curved. I think it will be a really good one. The reason I'm getting it specifically for a carry-on bag is because these add a lot of weight if I'm packing a check-in bag I really don't want something that already has a lot of weight to it because I pack a lot of clothes so I think this one is perfect for a carry-on and then for a check-in there's actually another one and I think this video is probably just going to be either black pieces cream or brown this is a check-in large bag and it's the polycarbonate so it'll be a lot lighter and this one is in cedar brown which i didn't even know they made until i saw an ad in a magazine randomly somewhere and i went searching for it now i don't know if this is going to be too much like too much brown i know that my love for brown is not a trend but i don't know if it's going to be too much like a little bit too over the top with the brown however it is a piece that's on my wish list i'm yet to see it and maybe i will dislike it when i see it in person maybe not but i just thought this is such a fun one like a brown case is really amazing and it's not leather which to me it's great as a carry-on again but if you're going to check in a bag getting a leather one is just a little bit counterintuitive it's bound to get ruined thrown around and things and then pretty much the other pieces on the home side of things are from a website called a basque not sponsored or anything i just recently found this website actually this was when i was looking for sterling silver cigar boxes specifically because i use them more as trinket boxes so i have some around the house i have one in my room as well where i keep vintage style jewelry and just a few sentimental pieces in there i really just love how much character it brings into a room the first thing i have from a basque it is an antique vintage they don't only have antique vintage a lot of the things are actually you, you can buy them multiple however the antique vintage side of things obviously it's a one of one this first thing is actually going to seem a little bit random unless you know me but i'm really into handwritten letters fountain pens like dipping the pen in the i'm really into that as you can tell so this is a 20th century crystal inkwell with a detachable clock there's so many things I love about this piece. First of all, yes, it is a one of one, but that's actually not what makes me love it. The hues that the crystal has, it's not just a clear crystal. It has almost these cool tone brown hues around it, which I really love. And I'm just imagining this in the study, you know, just on the desk. It just, I love this so much. I know it's quite old school, like who's actually still using this. However, obviously I'm not using this for day to day. I think this is more so for special occasions if you're writing a special letter. This is just so nice to have. Something about it, and obviously that's just what I'm into, so why not? The rest of the three are actually games for, you know, games room. First one is called the Mayfair Tabletop Chess Set which I love. I'm still yet to properly get good at chess. It does look very pleasing to the eyes. I'm not going to lie about that. Definitely not the reason, the only reason I'm getting it, obviously to play it as well, but it does also look very nice. And then alongside that, I also have the Walnut Backgammon Set Board, which is on here as well. Now, there are actually a few compendiums that you can get on the website as well, which is where you get chess and backgammon together. I'll put a picture up on the screen so that you can see it. Again, a lot of these pieces are a lot more premium. However, these are pieces that you really can 
passed down again and again and they're just so meaningful and to me I just really like it to be honest. I think you can justify something if you like it whereas if you don't like it you'll just see it as a complete waste. Lastly I kind of have already mentioned this just sterling silver cigar boxes I'm really into. I just think it does something for a space. I did actually post a blog post over on my blog where I mentioned the five classic pieces for your home to sort of elevate the space and I did mention in there sterling silver or just in general silver boxes. I just think they are so timeless. Again if you're really into the look of it but you don't want to go sterling silver there is also silver plated as well however for me if it's on my wish list it's probably going to be a little bit more premium so sterling silver is what I've preferred and that's actually the last piece on this wish list. But let me know how you found this video. Filming it feels so weird because it feels like I'm just chatting with no structure as opposed to my hauls where I feel like there's a lot more structure mentioning the pricing, sizing, whereas here it's just a bit here, there, everywhere, but that's honestly a little bit of my wish list for you. But with that being said, I really hope you enjoy this video. I think it's shorter than the usual, but that's kind of what I wanted for this week after last week's 40 minute video, which is what I compacted it down to. It started off as one hour, 20 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you have any favorite pieces, let me know in the comment section. With that being said, I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Thank you.